I know, and welcome back to the Barcelona career mode, and it's me, Dan, back again, and today we are going to be playing one game, and that game is El Clasico. Uh, it is our third game in the in the uh, video today, um, but yeah, we're just going to play the El Clasico game and finish off, um, you know, this uh, this month of October. We've got Eidbar, Slavia Prague in the group stage, we've got Real uh, Valadid, uh, Valadilid, I think, it uh, so, uh, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, um, and then after that, um, I'm thinking pretty much the same again. Um, you know, sim the first four games against uh, Slavia Pro or Levante, and then obviously sim up towards this uh, Br Borussia Dortmund game, at which we will play in the Champions League. So uh, look forward to that next episode. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm actually going to, uh, before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. Uh, so yeah, we've got Eidbar. We're putting the first team in. So let's see if we can start off with a victory at, away at Eidbar. Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. So there we go. Mbappe scores two. Messi gets two. And Orellana uh, scores for them. But uh, yeah, 4-1 victory. Uh, very nice indeed. Um, right, so on to the next game, which is against Slavia Prague. So let's get into that. Um, we, do a, we do have a media press conference as well. So let's okay. just quickly... Welcome, uh, yeah, the lads are good. Uh, changes can happen. Yeah, there will be changes. Uh, I'm sure of it, yep. And there we go. Um, right, so yeah, Slavia Prague um, put the second team in against them and hopefully we can get uh, another three points towards qualification. And we do. So there we go, 3-1 victory. Uh, Dawley gets their goal. Um, Artur gets two goals and Firpo gets a goal as well. So yeah, I'd say that's not a bad victory away from home at Slavia Prague. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, so let's uh, move on to the actual game of the day, which is against Real Madrid. So it's first versus second. You know, it will be a, f a really good uh, game to, you know, if we can get the victory over uh, Real Madrid, that would be lovely. Um, anyway, press conference. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The lads played well. Yep. Yeah. And the whole squad can help us, yeah, so there we go. Um, right, so on to the actual game now. So we do have uh, Real Madrid, so uh, yeah, everyone looks fine. So let's play a match. Yep, of course. So our first El Clasico of the, game, of the uh, series, and it's at home. So yeah, uh, I was, uh, sorry, I'm just seeing... Uh, what the player fitnesses are like. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's play match then, shall we? Oh, it's a great through ball towards Mbappe. It's Mbappe. Yes, there we go. Finally get the first goal of the game in the second half. Um, first half, it was pretty much all Real Madrid. They controlled most of the ball and we hit them on the counter-attack. We did have a couple chances uh, through Sane and Messi. But we just couldn't score. But finally, in the second half, first shot, <coughs> first shot in the second half, and uh, and Bafé puts it past Ariola, and uh, yeah, it's a great strike uh, near post, and Mbappe gets his goal. So there we go. That's one nil. Mbappe with the goal. Oh, what a ball! If Mbappe gets it, he does. It's Mbappe, surely for 2-0, and it is, it's 2-0. What a pass that was from Griezmann. What a pass, just from, what a pass that is. It's just a great through ball, and then Mbappe on the counter-attack. I could have tramped it to Messi or Sane, but Mbappe puts it past Ariola yet again, and that's 2-0. And we've caught them on the break yet again. And, yeah, it's just another great finish from Mbappe. He gets his uh, second goal of the game and he's on a hat-trick. So, will Mbappe get his hat-trick? No 
And there we go, there's full time and we're beating Real Madrid 2-0. Um, two goals from Mbappe um, just settles the sides in the second half. Um, it wasn't a bad game. Second, first half, it was all Real Madrid. Um, and then second half is pretty much all... Um, yeah, it's pretty much all us. No, I wouldn't say it's all us. I think it was pretty much all uh, us on the counter-attack, really. And obviously, we got the two goals from that. Um, Messi didn't score. He did have a couple chances. Um, but, yeah, Mbappe got the goals in the end. So, so yeah. So, let's look at the highlights eventually. Right, so here we go. Right, so highlights time. Right. Uh, Messi, first half. Uh, I think this is a, just a shot from over the crossbar, I think. Yeah, it was just unlucky uh, from Messi. Uh, Kylian Mbappe gets two goals. And uh, Tony Cruz had a chance. Oh, I think this is the clearance from Van Dijk. He didn't really clear it. <laughs> and it went straight towards uh, Tony Cruz. What a, what a goal it would have been if he scored that, though. What a goal. What, yeah, what a goal that would have been. But it's just blasted over. Um, in the end, and uh, that's it for highlights. I was quite surprised there were, might have been uh, a couple more, but uh, yeah, four shots, two on target for them, 64% uh, possession as well. But we had eight shots, seven on target. Um, it looks like Mbappe got a man of the match, which yeah, he deserves in the end. Uh, Griezmann tied with him uh, with a nine rating, um, but yeah, that wasn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> two nil victory, we'll take that, especially another three points as well. So, not much you can say about that. Um, so, we've probably got a pre-match mess conference. Uh, yeah, post-match conference now. Uh, Langley. Uh, yeah, he's been playing pretty good. Yeah, we are on a winning streak at the moment. And Mbappe. Yeah, overall great performance. So, there we go. Uh, right. So, yeah, we do have a rail validated next. So, let's advance towards that. We don't have a press conference, so we'll put the second team in against Real Valladolid. And hopefully we should win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes, and we do. Uh, Jota, Williams and Furpo yet again gets the goals uh, in this game. Uh, Coutinho and Lindelof also picked up a yellow card. Uh, but yeah, we'll take that 3-0 victory against Real Valladolid and that's another three point for another three points so uh, yeah as you can see we're fucking uh we're, well we're so many points ahead so how many points uh seven points ahead of uh, Real Madrid at the moment so yeah but that to be honest that could all change because one injury you know it could pretty much um it can pretty much you know ruin us so uh Leroy Sane uh, yep he will be playing this game because obviously it's Levante and we need to put the first team back in uh have we got time for one more yeah we got time for one more because we got three games there yeah we've got time for one more against Levante so let's see if we can beat Levante with the first team to finish off the episode can we do it uh, oh god, blimey. <laughs> wow, uh, it's a 6 1. Um, so, Koke scored for them. Mbappe, De Jong, Griezmann, and a Lionel Messi hat trick. <laughs> 6 1. I didn't expect that. I thought it would be like 2 0 or something like that. But 6 1, blimey. Uh, Messi with another hat trick. <laughs> what a great way to finish off the episode with a Messi hat trick. Jesus. Um, right, influential performance, so yeah, good performance from uh, Leo Sane. Did he get a goal in the last game? I don't think he did. Um, I don't know. Um, so, oh, I was going to see how many... Uh, hang on. How do you see the top scorer? I don't think he can for the uh, for this, can you? No, I don't think so. Um, anyway, so let's just advance towards Slavia Prague before we uh, finish off and captaincy... Oh, well, I was saying about Van Dyke, but we're just going to put this second team in against uh, these guys. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think we are actually going to end it here for today. Uh, next episode, 
obviously it will be another Simeon slash Payne episode. I think what we will do is just yeah, sim past these two games. We then do have a international break, so hopefully we can get past the international break without any injuries. Uh, then we've got Leganes, and then we've got a big game against Borussia Dortmund, in which we are at home. Uh, yes, we are. So there we are. So if we win this game, I think, well, to be honest, I think if we win that Slavia Prague game, uh, we are pretty much through. Uh, but to, you know, confirm it against a win against uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, that would be good as well. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think I'm actually going to end it here for today. So please like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time. So right, I'm going. Bye. I oh, know, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hit me up on Twitch and Twitter and... Don't forget to watch the playlist down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.